so there are also many hidden benefits of applying to different universities like for my university at my university you have an have a hamburg excellence scholarship Good morning, guys. This is Gupan, and uh, in today's video, I have with me Hitesh. Hitesh is studying in Germany since like one year, and he has a lot of experience related to studying in Germany as he's presently in Germany. And also, Hitesh is uh, my classmate from diploma, so I'm doing pretty well, and is uh, very good in studies and uh, his first with all-rounded skills. So I think uh, he's a good. a uh, person here who can share his experience related to studying in germany and also related to his course so hitesh uh, without further delay i would start with you can you please introduction related to you and yourself uh, i i received i think five or six admit and one of which was uh, hawe hamburg so i i applied here for masters in renewable energy systems and this is a public university actually uh, and uh, you don't have any tuition fees here it's just the semester contribution which you have to pay and it's around 336 euros i must say that hidesh now coming towards as you said me once that uh, you have got one scholarship in the first semester so can you please explain about the scholarship like was it the dart scholarship or was it the i mean the deutschland stipendium or was it the scholarship provided by your university so like can you please explain that in detail So, Harvey Hamburg offers uh, a scholarship. So, it is called as Excellent Scholarship. So, basically, it is offered by university. All the international applicants can apply to this scholarship, provided they have a score less than two point two in German scale. So, mm-hmm. what they do usually is they collect all the applications, and then they decide from each. Uh, like each master's program or bachelor's program, which student should be selected and given a scholarship of eighteen hundred euros. So that is uh, this happens every semester. So when I came here in the first semester, I applied to it and I received those eighteen hundred euros for the first semester. So that okay. you get directly transferred to your account basically, and eighteen hundred euros is a good money to have. especially when you are in a public university and you just need to pay 336 euros as semester contribution for second semester i applied but unfortunately i did not receive it now third semester mm-hmm. as my uh, you can apply for that scholarship for uh, the number of regular semesters you have for your course so basically my course okay. is for three semesters so i can apply three times but the maximum you can get mm-hmm. is two times so maximum two times and you can apply to every semester so this 1800 euros is it like given like for every month like some amount 300 300 or uh, is it like complete 1800 you get in your account uh so uh, and you receive that scholarship in winter semester that is when i receive so usually that is announced during the month of december and you get uh, that scholarship money into installments directly 900 900 uh, if you receive that scholarship in summer semester then you it may be in multiple installments the reason behind that uh, that is the financial year here in germany is according to the normal year, year period so as december approaches they have to distribute the funds which they have and that funds are uh, given by i think the uh, hamburg state government so if they don't distribute that fund they have to return it to the government so usually uh, okay. i think in winter semester you get the uh, amount more quickly more. than compared to some how many students from your batch they got uh, the scholarship like were all less than 2.2 got the scholarship or from that also there was some segregation i would like to mention i have some seniors 
during uh, their time anyone who had uh, less than 2.5 usually used to get the scholarship because there were very less applicants that time now mm-hmm. uh, the number of applications applicants has uh, rose so usually sure. what pattern i saw in winter semester as well as, as summer semester is only one student from your program gets the scholarship prior to that it that was not the case two or three students may also get the scholarship even if they are applying uh, like even if they are in mm-hmm. the same branch so that is what okay. is so going on right i think you got from your department right yeah from from my masters program i was the one who got in uh, winter semester in summer semester uh, my friend uh, he received that scholarship and mm-hmm. now third time we will see what the pattern will be. like the criteria is grade or they see the overall profile right as you had given gre ielts grade so did they saw the complete profile work experience uh, you need to submit all the documents but i think what they majorly focus is your grade and the letter of recommendation you get from a professor so there is a particular format in which you need to submit your letter of recommendation you just mail it to a professor and the professor uh, fills in the the score as he wants and then directly mails it to the international office so that's how it is done now during my time it was allowed to apply for the first semester now the new mm-hmm. students who are coming for them it is like you cannot apply for the first semester you can apply in second semester only mm-hmm. so second and third okay. so there was a problem like whenever you g- used to get a letter of recommendation from a professor who is not from the university there there were some issues with that so that's the reason what they have done is you need to get a letter of recommendation from a professor who have who has taught you during your masters program and you need at least two letter of recommendation so that's the reason you cannot apply in your first semester they are giving you this 1800 euro so so do they i mean uh, tell the students to do some research assistance because uh, because they are giving 1800 so no. like any kind of teaching this assistant research a, assistant this is a scholarship so you don't have to give anything in return against that okay it's just the money you get and that's all you get a certificate ha, i must mention one more thing in hamburg i don't know about different regions of germany in hamburg if you receive a type uh, like a scholarship whenever you receive a scholarship and you go for an visa extension so the visa extension fees is around 100 euros if you have a scholarship letter you don't have to pay that fees so what happened with me i received my scholarship of 1800 euros i went for my visa extension and the right. the authority who was there she was so happy that oh yeah you have received a scholarship then you don't have to pay that additional 100 euros which you usually have to pay for visa extension to get the card so that's great <laughs> yeah so the total yeah. savings was 1900 euros i must say yeah right <laughs> 800 now, plus 100 yeah. yeah now what is done like in my case i got my visa extension extended in january and i got a uh, visa for one year after that so now again i will be extended in uh, i will extend my visa in december so if i get a scholarship this semester too i don't have to pay those 100 additional uh, euros which i have i will have to pay right. if i don't get scholarship you are telling me all the points that most of the people don't know even i am doing some research from my side and i didn't knew this point so this video is quite helpful to me as well as to the audience